Anyways, I find myself in my room one morning. I finally have three days to myself during this Thanksgiving break. And one thing keeps ringing in my mind. The thing that has been haunting every second of my existence. Every second that I've watched drain away sitting in class and doing schoolwork. I finally have time to work on the album. Pure, uncontaminated, sacred time. To get myself warmed up to the day, I figured I'd spend a bit of time online. Maybe get some inspiration flowing. I know the internet can easily become a time sinkhole. It's like any other addiction, I guess. Luckily, I watched a clip of Zizek explaining ideological cynicism, which is uh, on the modern condition of people claiming to know what they do and why they do certain things, especially things they know are enabling their subjugation Yet, they still do it, always having an explanation as to why they must act that way. We know what we are doing, but we do it anyways. I should try to incorporate this into my album somehow, I think. Well, my quick browsing session seemed to be off to a pretty good start. I was already starting to feel the inspiration trickling in, but... I wasn't quite ready to dive into the album yet, so I figured I'd just browse for a bit longer and then get right to it. There's still a lot of daylight left anyways. It's fine. No, no, no. Come on. I couldn't believe the internet would do this to me. Come on, what the fuck? By then, it was too late to do anything. I was left empty. I don't consider myself to be much of a spiritual person, but after that day, left underneath the moon, I felt I had no other choice. I called out to anyone listening. Gods, spirits. Elliot Smith, what can I do? I feel like I'm always almost somewhere. Will I ever reach my potential? A new day, an opportunity for a fresh start. I decided to go outside, hopefully get some inspiration from new surroundings. I figured it was my apartment that was probably inflicting most of the damage. A standard walk over to the park all my problems haven't been fixed yet, but I feel a little less dead, I think. I eventually found some spots to lie. I'm sure there was a lot of beauty around me, but it was hard for me to notice. My mind just kept circling the same things. Time spent not working on the album feels like a waste. As the sun continued on its way, I made my way down to the river. I wanted to write a poem there, but instead I got left with this. I don't want to hear it today, you said. Tracing snail shells, your pointed finger. Falling into your painted words, like the sky drips its ink onto a bed aching to be unmade. And so do you, it seems. Your iris always past its bloom. A primeval flower bed, a garden that was once possessed, a self-inflicted myth. Your eyes never did learn how to close, forgetting to not talk to yourself. Though only a blink 
could save you. I half woke up the next morning. As per usual, the ineffable album loomed over my psyche. I can already see it finished in glimpses of abstract beauty, but it feels like trying to remember the part of the dream that happened right before what you can recall. Always just beyond my grasp. Constantly one synapse away from the neurons that will let me articulate it. Can I will my desires out of existence? When I finally came to, it had sunk in that this is my last day of break and I'd thrown away all of it. What am I left with in life if I can't bring myself to do the only thing that I claim to want? I eventually realized that I had woken up with a slight melody in mind. And even though it's not for the album, it doesn't fit into the more complex concepts that I'm trying to develop. I figured I'd just get it down, though I'll probably regret it. to resent the only thing you've been able to actually finish in recent memory. Can't believe it's already night.